Hi Leo, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your April 1st to the 15th, 2023 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps this channel out. It helps me out tremendously. So thank you so much for doing so. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. All right, Leo, so let's see the energy that we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Here we have the Two of Swords. There are a lot of paths coming our way. We're looking at things. We want to make the best choice, as we, we always do. There is a need to break the ties with toxic, chaotic energy. That's going to be very important for us. But there's also a sense of, how do I move forward here? We're seeing too many options. We're getting ourselves confused. We're overthinking. We're overanalyzing. We're also being a little bit too impetuous, which is interesting to say when we say we're overthinking and we're overanalyzing because there's a sense of like I'll think it through I'll think it through but then I'm just going to make a decision you know because I need to move forward so just be just be mindful of that here okay let's look at what spirit wants us to know angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading here we have wish a wish is going to be coming for us coming towards us embracing around us and that's going to be a very important thing for us during this time we have a deep wish and as that wish settles in our heart we're, we're going to see something like here we're trying to be too logical we need to listen internally to our inner voice more and more and more and that's going to be highly beneficial for us so let's see what the tarot has to say angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly angels and spirit guides angels And spirit guides, show me clearly. Okay, so what's interesting here is that we start off with the Queen of Wands reverse. The Queen of Wands is us. We're represented by the Wands in the Minor Arcana. So with the Queen of Wands coming forward reverse, we're having a bit of trouble with the quote unquote feminine energy. It doesn't mean that we have to, you know, identify or be a feminine person. It means that we're having a bit of difficulty embracing this energy right now, letting the sacred feminine into our lives, embracing our own creativity, embracing our insight, embracing our ideas, letting the magic come forward. We are being rather rigid. Our temper can be very short during this time. We can have good reasons for having a short temper, but that doesn't take away from the fact that we can feel irritated. We can feel aggravated. We can feel overwhelmed. So just be very mindful of this during this time. There is a sense of, I need to step back and look at what I really want. But there's also, on the other hand, the sense of, I don't have the time for this. You know, this isn't fairy tale land. I need to get things done. So know that that energy is going to be warring with you right now. It will bubble over in a sense of having a temper, of feeling agitated, annoyed, not having a creative outlet, not letting yourself create the way that you want to, or not feeling like you can create the way you want to. So be aware of this. With the Two of Wands, the Two of Wands is a door opening. There's a sense of a moving forward in a way that is right for you. 
there is a sense here of something linked to childhood. It's either something that you've always wanted to do or something that you were very interested in when you were little coming forward. Make sure with the Six of Cups that you're not living in the past because that would be very, very easy to take doors that open up that feel right because they're they're recreating a trauma or they're recreating you know hurts and pains and disappointments that you have been through and you're like oh i know this trauma oh i know this pain so just be aware of this because with the two of wands doors are opening and we're moving towards what we love but we can get stuck in kind of energy loops energy you know fields that we are like oh this is comfortable but it's because i didn't like it before i'm not going to like it now but the wound recognizes the wound so just be aware of this with the three of wands reverse, even though doors are opening, we're not going to see the movement forward that we really want. We're going to really want to be like, okay, I'm moving forward quickly, or this is getting done, that's getting done, I'm going after this. There is going to be a sense that things take longer than we want them to. It can be that things are getting delayed because of snail mail, or that you know people need to look into things more. Just be aware of this with the three of wands, that there is a sense of, of of things getting caught, you know, and I don't know why it's like caught, but it's like things get tangled up. And that's going to be something that's very frustrating to you during this time with the magician. And also here with the three, the three of wands, there can be a sense of like, well, I have to go over here to do this, or I have to do this, or I have to do that. Like my, my venue where I am has to change. And spirit saying, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. We can get caught up in the the optics of it, how this looks, what we, we think it should be. But Spirit's saying you have a lot within you to move you forward to where you want to be. It doesn't mean that you have to change things up in a physical sense. With the magician, as above, so below, as you believe it, so it becomes. And that's going to be very powerful here. Your mind is extraordinary. You're on point with a lot of things. You're insightful. You're determined. You're focused. So embrace that. Know that, you know, move forward with that energy. You're also going to see yourself standing before the altar of your existence saying, what do I want? What do I need? It doesn't have to be something dramatic. Whenever I hear spirits say you stand before the altar of your existence, I think, oh my gosh, always dramatic. Like it's going to be something that's overpowering. And it's not. It's choices that we make that say, well, this is more me, right? This is what I need. This is what I desire. This is where my heart sings. You know, this is, this is what I need for me. And that's going to open up doors for us in a very real way. The magician is understanding our own magic and it's putting that on a world stage because the magician stands before the altar of their existence and stands before the people. And so here it's very much saying, but this is me. And I'm not going to be apologetic for it. And I'm not running away from who I am. And I'm embracing what I love. And coming from a place of love and healing, compassion, and and grace. That's going to be very important. So with the magician, we can say this is my magic. You know, we have people who, in our world, and we, and we see them often, you know, they're very abrasive. It's like, this is who I am. Like it, fine. Don't like it. I don't care. You know, kind of like, who the heck cares about you anyway? I'm going to live my life. But... There's a gentleness to the to the magician when we get it right. That sense of I'm stepping into my power and stepping into the world. And I don't have to fight. A lower energy vibration comes to it with fighting. A higher energy vibration comes to it with grace. And that's going to be very important for us during this time. So let's dive deeper. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Now what's very interesting here, okay, is that we have the star card, which is the wish card in the Major Arcana coming, and the star is a wish. And we have that reversed. So with the doors opening, we can see that either the doors are opening and we might find an Aquarius energy that had been in our lives. It's not going to be in our lives as we walk forward. We can also find that what we thought we wished for, what we thought we wanted, that isn't it. That isn't what we wanted. That isn't what we desired. So just be very aware of that. We have the four of pentacles here. The four of pentacles with the queen of wands. This is vampiric energy. We're fighting off vampiric energy. We're having it leave, but we're also finding it very hard to connect with ourselves, with what we want, with what we desire, with where we need to be personally. So just be very aware of this. Vampiric energy is are people that that pull us down it's 
ideas, but it's a real sense of the hurts and pains of my past. And it's the desire to want to help everybody or I can't help everybody, but it's like the past comes forward and seeds that were planted that were toxic have taken root very deeply within us. And now we're going to start to see ourselves pulling them away, you know, taking away the chaos and finding that we're not, we're not falling in that energy anymore. It's hard to explain because I see this much more of like, you're weeding your own personal garden within you. Like there's a real sense of it's decluttering. It's, it's, it's moving away energy that's moving us forward. And we're not getting what we wish for as the door opens, but we're getting what spirit knows that we need. So we have a deep wish inside of ourselves and we're going to be thinking, well, now has to be the time, right? And spirit saying, no, it's not now, but it is time moving forward. Like I will give you this grace when it is ready. And we're, we're trying to force something. So just be very aware of this. With the Ace of Pentacles, this is God's source spirit, however you see the divine, the universe, handing you a gift of prosperity, success, and bounty that you're starting to see take root and not only take root, but grow in a very profound way in your life and leading you forward. Now, we have to be mindful of not letting the past muck this up. So it can be in the past, we had opportunities come, right? And they didn't work out. And we're thinking, oh no, now I, I can't have what I, I, I love now because I messed it up then. It's like, listen, sometimes we have to forgive ourselves. And sometimes we have to realize that that part of our story, that, that chapter in our being, it had to go that way. And as it went that way, and as it evolved that way, you know, now we are evolving in another way. And I don't know, I hope that makes sense. Because what I see is that in our Akashic records, in our, you know, in our records in this, in, in the universe or of spirit or however you want to see it, it's like there were certain things that we had to learn. We could either have learned them then or now. We could either, you know, face it this way or face it that way. We can start, it starts off with a small lesson and grows bigger and bigger and bigger, you know, at times. And here with the, with the Ace of Pentacles, a gift is being moved forward just because you didn't see it once upon a time. Does that mean you never get it again? And with the Four of Wands, there is this real sense that there's a commitment being broken as you're not seeing yourself move forward the way that you want to, okay? This could be a relationship, Okay, the four of wands in the in the minor is my minor arcana wedding card. So and is the minor arcana wedding card. So just be aware of this, where we can have a relationship not really going the way that we wanted it to, or we can have a hurt and a pain of a relationship that we wish for in a certain way. It doesn't have to be romantic, though it can be, but it's something that we gave a commitment to. It's not moving forward in the way that we wanted it to, or it's not being celebrated in the way that we think it should. So just be very mindful of this during this time because our ego can really get in the way. If this isn't being celebrated, if the ships aren't coming in, if people aren't upholding their end of the bargain, we have to work very hard during this time period not to take it personally because that's going to be the first thing that we do. We're like, oh my gosh, what's wrong with me? Or, oh my gosh, they hate me or or something like that. And it's like, no, this could be a blessing. Blessing. This could be a, a real sense of they're not ready for this. I don't need to be bogged down by them. I'm moving forward. With the four of cups reverse, we can be very set in seeing things one certain way. So we are, we have the four of cups, we have the three cups here that in the Rider Waite Smith deck, you know, that you're looking at here, the cup is made from a sea creature, you know, with the space. And with it reversed, we're having a very difficult time getting out of looking at things in a negative emotional way. And that's going to be something that is one of our biggest challenges during this time. Do I take this as a personal ding or do I see myself moving forward to where I need to be? Divinity is going to be tapping you on the shoulder. This can be a time where if our energy vibration is high enough, we, we hear, we hear divinity tapping us. We feel divinity tapping our shoulders, you know, but if we're too caught up in the chaos, and wanting things to go a certain way and not letting them go in a divine way, we're not going to see the gift that divinity is giving us. And it's going to kind of roll over, you know, roll over till, you know, the next part of the month or the next month. So just be aware of this during this time. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of 
is the Princess of Pentacles reverse. There's childishness around money, okay, that needs to be acknowledged. There is a sense of, I just see money falling out of the pockets. You can want to, Leo, in order to build up, like, your joy and your happiness, want to spend money. And it can be a very, it's like a childish way of dealing with things, but it's a very human way of doing, dealing with things. So just know that. Just know that during this time, there's a sense of, oh, I could, I could buy that, or I could buy this, or that would be so cool, or I could go here, or I could go there. Don't be childish with your money, is really what Spirit is saying. Our subconscious message from Spirit is rejoice. That's that's also with the Four of Wands. Like we're having a really hard time celebrating ourselves. We're we're getting kind of stuck. So know here that yeah, subconsciously we're also having a problem rejoicing, and Spirit is saying here, you know, look at this, look at this problem that's holding you back. Okay, learn rejoice. Like learn how to rejoice, celebrate yourself, celebrate joy, let the beauty come in. It's going to be really important for you. And our subconscious tarot message is the tower reversed. We've had our lives fall apart. You know, some of us in very, very big ways, some of us in not so big ways. But this is a time subconsciously where we're seeing ourselves put together the pieces or say, you know what? I'm leaving that mess behind. I'm, I'm not putting it back together. I'm, I'm going on an adventure. I'm finding a new way forward. There's something here where we're freeing ourselves. We're freeing ourselves from the past. We're freeing ourselves from not being able to celebrate ourselves. We're freeing ourselves. And seeds of bounty and greatness are growing. Prosperity, money, what we value as much as money is coming in. And yeah, things were broken. Probably irrevocably. You know, there are some things that aren't going to come back and aren't going to be built the way that we originally had them or the way that we wanted them to be. It isn't how we imagined it to be. And Spirit is really saying during this time, let go of what you have dreamed and see what spirit has dreamt for you. Step into that energy because, Leo, you will be very surprised at where it takes you. All right. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Leo. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. God bless. Bye.